Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got an exciting blend for you guys this week, so I'm going to go ahead and start the water, get things kicked off. Oh man, this is something that I have been looking forward to for a while now. Uh, I brought this blend all the way back from Australia. I've got quite a few, but this one is one of my favorites. It smelled amazing and I got to have uh, a, a sample of it. Oh man, it was great. Joy, welcome! You're the first one here today. Oh, so tonight's uh, blend, I want to make sure I'm holding it right, is uh, from a uh, from a store in Australia. It's actually a chain. I had no idea how big it was until I found it, but uh, it's from T2 called Gorgeous Geisha. Now the funny thing is, like, I thought it was just in... Uh, sorry, I brought this one from New Zealand, not, uh, not Australia. Um, but I... Uh, I, I I hit up the store in uh, in New Zealand and I had no idea that that it was a chain. So there was one in um, uh, what was that? What did I go to? Auck there was one in Auckland. That was where this one came from. Then there was one in uh, Christchurch and then one in Australia. I had no idea that it was that big of a that big of a chain. Uh, but tonight is a special one, so I'm going to go ahead. And uh, open up this uh, this blend. It's in a bag. Uh, it's in a box in a bag. So I came prepared this time. <laughs> there we go. I'm just gonna be very careful because I do not want to cut my fingers, which has already happened earlier this week, and that was not a pretty sight. Oh my God! This smells amazing right off the bat. Oh, all you smell is, uh, all you smell is, uh, a, a, a strawberry. And I just realized I'm going to need to get myself a, uh, a spoon real quick. Because it didn't occur to me that I can't just pour it out. There's always something, right? Okay, there we go. Alright, now I'm 100% prepared. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it in. Now, this is not just any green tea, it's actually Sencha, and Sencha is a pretty uh, high-end green tea. Uh, it's high quality, and it's very delicious on its own. I think I've done a Sencha before, but I don't remember when. Uh, oops, almost spilled some. There we go. Hey, Teresa, welcome! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side. I'm like running out of space here, don't mind me. Okay, so anyway, so Sencha is a pretty high end uh, tea. It's one step below Girokuro, um, and that is like the, the, top, uh, the top brand of, uh, of green tea. That's what they make. Um, that's what they make uh, matcha out of. Alright, so it looks like my water is ready. I'm going to go ahead and pour some out. Since this is a green tea, I'm going to be steeping it at 180 degrees. There we go. For three minutes, I'm safe. I, I'm safe to do it at three. Normally it's between two or three. Um, but because this is a flavored green tea and the strawberry scent is super strong, I have, uh, confidence that it's going to be a, um, I have confidence that it's going to be a, it's going to sustain a good taste, uh, if it's at three minutes rather than playing it safe and do it by two. Uh, I'm going to fully steep it to its full potential and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I... You know, let me make sure what the, oh, the, okay, so this says uh, 80 degrees Celsius, 176 Fahrenheit. So I'm about four degrees higher than normal uh, for two to three minutes. Four degrees is not going to make that big of a difference, hopefully. Um, the flavor is is going to be, is, is going to be strong enough to, to withstand the, uh, the difference, I'm sure. But, um... So the, there's only, there's honestly only three ingredients in here. It's Sencha, 
uh, natural strawberry flavoring and strawberry. Um, yeah, fried, freeze-dried strawberries. So it's going to be an excellent taste. Like, all I smell right now is the strawberry. And it's, like, it's super strong, super sweet, uh, super juicy. And that's what I look for in a, in a flavored tea. Uh, sometimes when you get a black tea, you get that super-duper strong scent. Uh, but the flavor is, uh, is overpowered by the black tea. So you kind of get a uh, an imbalance there. Oh, there we go. Quackhead is done. So I'll go ahead and pull this out. Yes, yes, I know, Quackhead. Time to pull this out. All right. There we go. Ralph, welcome. Oh my God! All I smell now is the 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 green tea, and I mean uh, the 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 strawberry. Now I don't see any uh, any chunks. I should make a tea infused milkshake. I actually can. Um, I have made tea infused uh, ice cream before. Um, but yeah, like I can I can totally do that. The easiest way to infuse. Um, Ma uh, infuse uh, ice cream with tea is using matcha. I mean, essentially, all that is is uh, is a green tea powder, and you just mix it into the uh, into the mixture, freeze it, and you're good to go. Uh, if I were to use a different tea, like say I don't know Thai chai, Thai chai would actually make a good ice cream. Um, I would I would probably have it would probably be a much longer process because it's not powdered. Um, I would probably have to put it in a tea, uh, in a tea bag, tea bag, and, <laughs> uh, let it steep in the cream for hours and hours, and then once that has fully steeped, um, I would blend the rest of it, and, uh, I will make the, me the rest of the mixture, and, um, freeze it, and then you'd get a tea, a tea flavored, a tea infused ice cream. Um, that is a much longer process, so that's something that I would have to do as an all-day thing. But in this case, uh, I'm going to leave it as is, and, uh, I would recommend just doing matcha, and, and you'll get a, uh, you'll get a good, uh, uh you, you'll get a good blend out of it. Matcha blends really well, uh, inside, uh, inside anything, really. So I would recommend using that not only in ice cream, but in baking, in uh, anything that requires some sort of mixture, no problem. Nicole, welcome! So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this out. I just realized I didn't show you guys what it looks like, so I will show you that in just a moment. Rachel, welcome! I see you there. Oh, look at that color. It's a little bit yellow, actually. I'm kind of surprised it's not as green as I thought it would be. Because it's... Uh, Nick, welcome! It's not as... Uh, tried in Australian teas? Uh, actually, this is an Australian tea. Uh, you, you came in before the intro, but uh, I'm doing Gorgeous Geisha from... Aus well, this one specifically was from New Zealand. Um, last week I did a New Zealand tea that was, uh, farmed and processed in New Zealand. Um, but while I was in Australia, yeah, I, I did have tea. They, this actually came from the region. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't cultivated in the region. It was imported, uh, and, and resold. So, long story short, I did have... New Zealand tea specifically, while back in the States, but I've had regular tea in Australia while I was there, in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, but this one in particular, just to, just to recap, um, oh, excuse me, this is, uh, Sencha with strawberry in it, um, and it's really, like, the, the, the scent is, is blowing me away. It's so strong, 
I'm gonna be dating myself here, but if you remember what Nestle Quick smells like, the, the, the strawberry quick, like the powdered version, that's this. I'm getting like this huge uh, strawberry taste just from the scent. So I haven't even tried it yet. Oh, that is so nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take my first sip. Oh, wow. That is really good. This is the... Oh, man, I gotta, I gotta distance myself a little bit. Only because I, I'm already in the habit of, of drinking things a little bit too quickly. I, I don't want to get too... Um, I don't want to get too... What's the word? Like, uh... I don't want to, I don't want to get too attached to it, for lack of a better term. Because... Uh, I'm like, I'm drawn to it. Like, this is such a strong strawberry flavor. And I'm glad that I got this in green rather than black, because generally, the like I was saying before, the black uh, overpowers some teas, but this is nice and mellow. Uh, it's got a strong strawberry flavor with a uh, the green umami, con uh, um I don't want to say umami content, but the umami taste is not as uh, strong. Thomas, welcome! Uh, the, generally when you're drinking Sencha, depending on the uh, the quality of it, it can either be a really strong uh, green taste uh, or a strong but smooth green taste. Like, like the, qu the quality of the Sencha uh, isn't necessarily in the taste but rather how uh, whether it's sharp or, or smooth. Uh, this one has a very light, uh, smooth taste, so you're getting like more of the strawberry, less of the green in it, which I can definitely appreciate. Um, because when you're drinking this kind of, uh, of tea, I'm getting the feeling that it would be... Um, uh, you can definitely have this hot or iced. Um, I'm making the prediction now, because as the you guys know, as my stream goes on, my tea kind of starts to, to cool off a little bit. Sometimes it maintains the flavor, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I'm getting the, I'm, I'm making my prediction now. This is going to maintain the flavor, because, like, the strawberry in it is so strong, and the green in it, it's there, you can taste it, um, but it's kind of like... It's definitely taking a second tier to it. Um, it's actually... I, I, it's actually kind of adding an element of cream to the, to, uh, the flavor overall. This is the only time I've ever had uh, a strawberry tea that was this... Strawberry? <laughs> that was... I don't know, like... like you know how you say something is really, really strong and you add the L-Y to it, but strawberry yee, yee, yee isn't going to work. But uh, the only time I've had something that, like, uh, that strong, with a strong strawberry flavor as a tea um, was actually as a, uh, the strawberry white. And, you know, like, it's the same kind of... Um, it's the same kind of concept where you get like a strong strawberry flavor and an underlying smooth tea. Green tea has a stronger taste generally, uh, stronger than white. So I'm, I'm tasting the umami in it, but it's still not strong. So for people who don't like green teas, um, I would definitely recommend this because you barely taste it at all. It kind of tastes like a strawberry punch. It's like, how do I put this? I'm getting, it's it's an overall very citrusy, very sweet. Like, I, I stopped sweetening my teas for the stream long ago. Um, this one does not need sweetening at all. Like, it is perfect, just the way that it is. And I'm really, like, I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually hoping... That somehow, some way, uh, I can get my hands on this, on more of it, um, 
without having to fly all the way to Australia. Uh, they do have a website, and I will be uh, posting the link after the stream to it. Um, but I don't know how much the, uh, the, the price would be to have it shipped from there. So, um, that's something that if you guys are interested, you can, you can check out for yourselves, but certainly, uh, I would recommend it if you do, because this tea is, it's really, really good. And I have a little bit more. Mmm. It's actually kind of, it's flowery without the flower. And I think that, um, I think that's due to the green, uh, the green tea flavor, the umami, uh, in it. You're getting this kind of, like on the back end of the strawberry taste, you get the tea leaf. Um, so I would describe it best as like say you eat the whole strawberry uh leaves and all like from the top where they have like the little leaves you kind of get that kind of a uh uh the, the 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 flavor to it i don't want to say see because i mean like when you it, it, it's a little bit less appetizing when you describe it as eating the leaf because nobody eats the leaf you know um, but you know at the very, very top where the strawberry turns a little bit white and you have that little bit of, uh, leafy flavor to it. I think that that would be more accurate. Because you're not getting, like, the full taste of the leaf. You're getting whatever is mixed into that portion with the strawberry, uh, and the citric acid. So you're getting, like, the full flavor of the strawberry, including the leaf. I think that that would be more accurate. Yeah, I had I had to, to correct myself there because you know I don't want you guys uh, going away with the wrong uh, with the wrong impression of it. Oh, what is so sweet! All right, so I'm, hopefully I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now that it's. Um, now that it's uh, steeped, I forgot to show you guys what it looked like when it was, um, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys now what it looks like, just a small sample. I hate when I forget to do that. But, yeah, here you go. This is what it looks like when it's dry. You can see it's a short leaf. Uh, it's very green. There's not a whole lot of strawberry content i it says it has freeze-dried strawberries in it uh but i don't see any uh romanda welcome i don't see any uh anything in the leaf i just it's just the leaf but it smells incredible so that's what it looks like when it's dry hopefully this won't there we go. I'm trying to I'm trying to drain it so that it doesn't drip all over my floor. You know what? Let's do this then. I need to get myself one of those little uh tea box thingies. I forgot the name of it. Okay, this should work, hopefully. Hopefully it's ah. Uh, I gotta do two hands for a second. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, top view, if I can do this one-handed. So you see, there's not a whole lot of uh, strawberry, like, I don't see, I, I don't know what that brown thing is. It might just be the stem of the sencha. Generally, really good sencha doesn't have stems like that, just, you know, laying out there. Usually, uh, if it's done right, you just get the leaf. But in this case, maybe it's part of what flavors the uh, the strawberry. Oh, wait, I see it. Right there by my thumb. That might be what the strawberry is. Like, it's chopped up really small. Maybe that's why I don't see it. 
Because I, I don't see any other trace of it, but it's definitely there. And this is supposed to be organic, so I don't think that uh, they're using artificial flavors. They say it's natural flavors. Um, so I, I don't know where it is, but it's not really that visible. It is strong enough that you can smell it from across the room, though. And that's basically what is uh, what's impressing me most. Because you're getting this, this super strong strawberry flavor without the uh without the sencha battling it too badly i'm gonna get a little bit more because this is super good <laughs> like this is the kind of tea that it's satisfying me already and you know like i i made sure not to eat too much today uh my dinner was mm, semi light ish <laughs> I mean, I do have uh, quite an appetite usually, but I wanted to save some space because I usually have a bad habit of eating too much before I do a stream, and it does not end well. <laughs> I'm just like overstuffed and, and sluggish uh, at the end of the day. But in this case, I think I gave myself uh, a good, um, a good amount of space in my belly. Uh, what did I eat? I just had a couple slices of pizza, but it wasn't like slice slices. It was, um, like, like it was, I don't want to say quarter cause it was like a really, really big pizza. Uh, Heidi was helping with a graduation. So, I mean, it was for the kids and they had this thing like basically as big as a football field. I'm only slightly exaggerating. Um, more realistically, the, it was like an oval shape. But it was like I would say almost three feet long, like it was it was a really no it wasn't deep dish it was flat uh, flatbread, um, but the way that it's cut it's cut in squares so I had like maybe three or four, three four or five squares, something like that so you guys know for me that's like that's keeping it light, um, but yeah like I I'm this is uh, really satisfying I. First of all, green tea is a natural appetite suppressant, so this is going to satisfy you. Uh, if you're trying to lose weight, it's a two-pronged attack because it suppresses your appetite and uh, it, it helps uh, it helps your, metab your metabolism so that uh, as you drink um, and you it helps you digest things a lot faster uh, and it, it, it works wonders. So whenever somebody says, like, is there a tea that uh, you drink to lose weight, I would definitely recommend green tea uh, and matcha. Matcha especially. Because, um, like, as you guys know, matcha has the uh, the actual leaf in it. Sneha, welcome! The uh, it, it, You drink the actual leaf so that you're getting the all the vitamins rather than what seeps off of the leaf. Um, so whenever I, whenever I hear people talking about detox teas and stuff like that, all of that is bull. Uh, I learned, <laughs> it, it took, uh, it took a, a while for me to get that out of my vocabulary when talking about teas, uh, because it's, it's all bull. Like, there is no such thing as a detox tea. Um, this one... If you're looking for something that will help you diet, uh, this will help you diet. Uh, it'll it'll speed up your metabolism. It'll help you digest. It's basically roughage when you think about it. Because when you're eating lettuce and when you're eating your vegetables and, and all of that stuff, you're eating roughage. But when you're drinking the green tea, you get all of the effects uh, in a, uh, uh, in a liquid form, basically, so you're, you're drinking roughage, um, and that's great, you know, because if you drink, if you drink tea, uh, as you eat, it will help you suppress your appetite, it'll help you eat less, and it'll satisfy you for, you know, a long, uh, a longer while to come, so, I'm gonna go back and say, <laughs> for all the people who don't like green tea, 
this is going to be a great replacement for it. Um, if you're interested in drinking more green teas, uh, we'll just say that it's a step in the right direction. It'll help you. Uh, it'll help you uh, train your palate to uh, to appreciate green tea once you get to that point. Uh, I started when I started drinking tea. I was more of a was this a, you agree a cup of green tea uh, with a teaspoon of honey at first thing in the morning? Yeah, like it. It. it some people need to warm their way up to it and by all means that's great uh like i made the mistake of starting with uh with like the the stuff in the tea bags uh what's the like like tezo tea and and stuff like that and you know not that that's a bad tea specifically um but when you start off with a straight up green tea it's uh it's a little bit of a shock to the palate uh, it's the kind of thing that could turn you off if you are taste sensitive. Drinking, drinking stuff like this, which is mostly strawberry, uh, you get a good uh, you, 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 you get a good stepping stone. So you'll start with, let's say you'll start with uh, this one with the strawberry, citrus green, um, cocoa mint green. Working your way up the ladder, you'll get to, to like let's say sencha is good uh gunpowder gunpowder is a, a much much stronger tasting tea than uh than regular green um girokuro if the the thing about green teas uh i'm going to throw this in is there's two distinct differences between chinese and japanese green teas Chinese green teas, you have like a grassy, more uh, more on the earthy side, whereas in J uh, Japanese green tea is more seaweed, salty, um, and you get like a, a it, it's like basically surf and turf. You're getting land versus ocean, and very distinct flavors, but they each have like really amazing qualities. Uh, depending on, on your flavor palette, I appreciate both. I love them both, but it took a while for me to, uh, to get to that point. Um, and matcha is, like, super, super, uh, super grassy. Um, depending on the, uh, depending on the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, 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 the quality. Um, I mentioned this a while back. There are about five different levels of quality in tea uh, in in matcha. The highest quality is like the okay, like the range between low quality matcha and high quality matcha is literally night and day, because um, the way that the girokuro is is raised. If it's out in the sun too much, they pick it quick because uh, they don't want the uh, they don't want the, the the tea to to get too um, too dry. But the problem is, uh, it doesn't because it's out in the sun. It doesn't produce as much photosynthesis, so you get a very very light green almost. Um, you get a very light green, like, like, it's, it's kind of bitter-ish. Uh, they, the, the very, very low quality in, uh, in, in matcha is called culinary grade, because that's used for more cooking. Um, you don't, it doesn't overpower the flavor of the food, and on top of that, you get all the benefits of it. Because, I mean, the flavor has nothing to do with the benefits, but the... The way that uh, the high quality matcha is grown, it's grown uh, kind of in the shade with very little exposure to the light so that it's forced to produce more photosynthesis to help nutri, uh, to help it n n nitrate, not, I don't want to say nitrate, nu nutritionize, 
itself. I don't know. To help it feed itself. <laughs> I'm trying to get scientific and it's just not working. Um, so when it's, when it's grown in a shady area, Beth, welcome. I see you there. Uh, when it's grown in a shady area and it's left longer to grow, it produces more photosynthesis. It gets greener. The, the, the leaf gets darker green and then, uh, that gets picked and ground and dried and powdered and you get like a deeper flavor um you get a deeper uh like a a a, a, a more a, i don't want to say well it's a stronger one but not to the point where yeah nourishment thank you nourishment has to nourish itself doggone it i'm i'm failing english today <laughs> i need to get a little drink So that is covering uh, matcha for the for the most part. Um, not everything, of course, but uh, I want to do a stream. Ma, welcome. I want to do a stream on matcha, so I don't want to give too much away, which I think I might have already. But um, that is just a quick crash course on on matcha. Uh, which, you know, I mean, like I said, it has something to do with green tea, so I'm not too far off, uh, off subject, but I went off on a tangent, which I tend to do sometimes, so forgive me. <laughs> I just went right off of left field, uh, but that's okay. You know, I mean, it keeps, it keeps things interesting to throw these little tidbits in, because I'm sure I'm not going to get the exact same audience the day that I do matcha, so, you know. It's it's good for those of you who are planning to skip that day, which I would recommend not because I'm trying to do the the the, the matcha ceremony, a very watered down version of the matcha ceremony, uh, because the true matcha ceremony can take hours. Like I have heard it go between four and six hours, and I am not going to do a stream four to six hours, no matter how much you beg and plead. It's not going to happen. <laughs> mm. Whew. So now it's starting to uh it's still kind of kind of warm, it's no longer hot. Um but it's not quite room temperature yet. And as predicted it is maintaining the uh the strawberry flavor. Uh this I actually I'm very, very curious uh to do this as as an iced tea because there is there's a very strong strawberry uh flavor in it and strawberry iced tea is like whoo incredible i love it oh i'm getting stuffed now <laughs> this is and i'm only halfway through it's like no my, you gotta keep going oh my god but this is so good i'm feeling very uh very satisfied uh, there is, I mean, while this is, uh, caffeinated, uh, it's not as highly caffeinated, so, uh, you'll be awake, you'll be alert, um, but you won't be jittery. This is a moderate amount of, uh, of caffeine. Green tea is not going to be as caffeinated as black, uh, and even black tea is not going to be as caffeinated as a cup of coffee. So you're getting a good, um, you're getting a good blend here. The flavor is super good. It's super nice, and and you know you're. I'm feeling kind of mellow about it. It's really good. I'm. I definitely would love to go back uh, and get more. Um, if I do happen to go back, which fingers crossed would be one day, uh, I'm gonna bring home more of these teas, uh, unless they decide to like open up. Uh, a store here somewhere, you never know. But uh, this is this is excellent. Like I'm really enjoying this. Mm. Now I I would probably risk uh, putting a little bit of milk or cream in this just to enhance the creaminess or the texture of it. Only the only thing is when you add 
uh, when you add milk or cream to a citric tea, it curdles. So it's not going to look very appetizing, but if you know that going in, um, it's still going to taste great. It's just going to be less appealing to the eyes. Which, I mean, I don't care. If I know it's going to taste good, I go for it. But in, in this case, because the citrus is so strong, I would warn you guys, should you try to do it, uh, it will curdle a little bit. Uh, I learned that the hard way doing a, uh, what was it, uh, blood orange. I put milk in blood orange, and yeah, I was not expecting <laughs> the reaction. I still drank it. It was still fine. Uh, but it just, yeah, curdled milk was not that, uh, was not that appetizing. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Ooh, I'm going to drink a little bit more, I think. I think I'll have to top myself off after this. Mm. Mm. I wanted to keep it in my mouth just a little bit to get more, to get a sense of the mouthfeel. It's actually really, really soft. But there's also a creaminess element to it that I was kind of, kind of missing. Like, it has like a really strong creamy texture. Um, but on top of that, I have this kind of, uh, how do I put this? Like, like, the flavor is well-rounded. Um, it actually tastes like a full-on strawberry. After you bite it, you get the whole uh, you get the whole flavor in your mouth. Um, it's the kind of thing that it touches all of your taste buds at once. Uh, there are strange uh, effects. I say that because there are there are some teas that uh, you taste only in certain parts of your mouth or. Uh, you taste it in waves, I've described it uh, before, and you get this kind of, um, this, this kind of sensation while you keep it in your mouth. Uh, you only taste a little bit at a time, or you taste it all at once. In this case, it's, it's, you're tasting everything at once. Uh, and, you know, that's, that is a sign of a good quality, quality experience, uh, depending on tastes, of course. Um... This is not the kind of tea that you would have to sit and think about and, you know, like, really explore it. It's simple in taste, but it's very good. You know, like, sometimes you just want to enjoy a flavor. And this is the kind of tea that you just enjoy. I'm going to go ahead and top myself off a little bit. Put that back there before it makes too much of a mess. There we go. Oh, I'm almost kind of sad that it's uh, that it's down to that, because like, I I kind of want more, even though I'm already pretty satisfied. Um, I could see myself drinking this all day, you know, just getting myself like a big old pitcher, and drinking it little by little for the entire day. Um, reading a book or something like that. This is a, this is a, a summer afternoon weekend tea. Uh, this is definitely the right season for it. Uh, strawberries usually usually uh, grow between the uh, late spring, early summer, and it, it, it lasts through the season. Um, in this case, like this is the perfect climate for it because it's. You know, it's nice and it's it's nice and fruity, and uh, it'll wake you up iced. Absolutely, I would definitely have this iced. Um, this tea, it's it's very it's it's very flexible. Um, there's another word that <laughs> I'm just failing English today. Uh, versatile. That's what it is. It's it's a it's very versatile um, because 
I mean, this is the kind of tea that when you when it goes cool, it doesn't go bad. So I don't mind as long as you don't over steep it, of course, because that's just ruining it from the get go. But um, it seems to be maintaining its flavor from when it's hot to when it's warm, and that's generally a good indication that it will maintain it even when it's when it's cold. So I would definitely recommend having this iced. Uh, maybe add a little sugar, maybe a little lemon to uh, lemon and strawberry. Not a bad, uh, not a bad combo. Like people have strawberry lemonade all the time. Uh, that would be a that would be a good um, uh, a good start. I would definitely recommend that. Whew, I am so stuffed right now. <laughs> okay, so. Questions, comments, anything you want to talk about, now is the time to pull it up. I'm going to open up the floor. Uh, I'm not going to forget Teresa's uh, famous question, what would I pair this one with? Um, a dessert? Definitely cake. Uh, I would go with uh, angel food cake. Uh, donuts? This is definitely a donut tea. Um, uh, desserts, what else? Uh, cookies? Vanilla cookies, wafers, uh, Stroopwafels! Stroopwafels! <laughs> That's my favorite. I am. Like, I feel like this is... You know, I, like, I, I'm satiated. I'm... I'm... I'm mellow, you know? This is... This is feeling good. Jelly donut. Absolutely. Uh, you know, because, like, like uh, the, the, the jelly in this would complement the uh the strawberry flavor to it very very nicely if i were to go for like a, a savory dish um i would actually i would actually recommend this with breakfast rather than lunch or dinner uh because that's when you have like pancakes or waffles or you know stuff like that like like the light airy foods, uh, this would go very well with. Maybe eggs. Eh, I, I would stick with more like the waffle and, and pancake family. Uh, but yeah, like this is, this is very good. Get some whipped cream in there. Woo! Whipped cream will definitely, uh, make this one pop. Oof, I am feeling it. Oof. Oh man. Oh. Nutella crepes. Um yeah. Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, a lot of people put Nutella crepes uh put like strawberry jam uh and different like flavors syrup uh on Nutella crepes. So yeah, I don't see why not. It's it's very complimentary to it. Um I don't know what I would if I were to eat it with, uh, drink it with lunch or dinner, I don't know what I would recommend. Because it's like, I don't want to, this is just my personal opinion, I wouldn't want to uh, mess up the sweetness with anything savory. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you were to eat that with, if you were to drink that with, say, like, a tuna fish sandwich, oh, that would be awful. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So I can't really think of uh, anything that would, that would really complement it as far as, uh, as far as savory is concerned. Um, maybe honey glazed ham, only because that goes well with pineapple and cherry, why not strawberry? Um, something like that, like, I, I, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head that would that would uh, complement this well. Mm. Oh my god, but this is so good. <laughs> like I'm I am like seriously having nostalgia and I've never had this tea before. <laughs> so, I don't know how that works. All I know is that I'm doing it. Um I'm in like a very happy place right now. Uh, 
it's 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 emoting, you know? I mean when when sometimes when you're sitting back and you're appreciating something sweet, uh it's uh it, it's definitely triggering some endorphins in me. Uh I'm feeling I'm feeling good about it, you know? This is doing uh this is doing me some good. <laughs> Oh, but it's, I'm so stuffed right now. Oh, man. Oh, my, my nose is, oh, I think allergies are starting to, uh, starting to affect me. I was having a, a sneezing attack today, and it was not fun. Mm. Oh, okay, so I'm opening up the floor again. Questions, comments. Oh, I need to take a breath. Like <laughs> my stomach is so full right now, um, but still, like, like in a good way. Oh man! Whew. <laughs> I, I'm 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 slightly struggling a little bit, as you can see. Uh, my stomach is like a little bit tight. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let myself digest for a bit. Uh, I'm gonna give it a couple minutes, although my taste buds don't let me because like although I am as full as I can be I'm not really like like the taste is is still drawing me back like it's it's weird uh, I'm kind of compulsive about it but in a good way uh, okay uh, ooh, I should not have <laughs> should not have uh, hit my belly like that I meant to hit Right there, I meant to hit that, but I went okay. Boop! And I was like, oh, <laughs> just a slight little, uh, a slight little mishap. But okay, I hit it the right place now. Announcements. Uh, so it does not look like I'm going to be able to schedule a T crawl for June, uh, but I will definitely have one in July. Uh, my weekends have kind of sort of filled up a little bit. Which is great, you know, because uh, I, I, I need to get rid of some of these teas before I complete it. Um, b b before, I, before I have to refill again. And honestly, two months is not gonna, <laughs> is not gonna uh, help that much considering, like, I have so many teas to begin with. Um, I'm usually in a state of, I have too many teas, but... Any fan of tea will tell you there's no such thing as having too many teas. So, uh, I'm giving myself a little bit of a break in that. You know, it's it's not on purpose, because I would love to do another tea crawl. I will be doing another one uh, next month. I just have to figure out when and where, and we'll, we'll take it from there. Um, I was able to check the uh the 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 raffle the raffle website uh it looks like it's working again so i'm going to be scheduling a another raffle sometime by the end of this month uh i don't know what the prize will be quite yet but once i do uh i'll let you guys know and we'll get back to uh we'll we'll, we'll get back to the uh the raffle uh cuz that well, you know i mean it was pretty popular uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, what else, what else? I don't have any... I don't think I have any other announcements yet. Um, but definitely stay tuned on the website, uh, on, the, on the group page, uh, for any updates, anything that might come up. Because you never know. Like, a lot of the time, my, my updates happen just just whenever so oh uh, I think I think that that's a good thing though because I mean when when good things happen I like to share it as soon as possible oh and I realize that I think I have enough space now to continue drinking mm. oh it's still maintaining its flavor I have to, I have to admit, this is not, uh, this is not weakening at all. Uh, usually green teas, without flavoring, when they get cold, it's just like, ah. 
there there's no like there's no forgiveness for lukewarm green teas. Uh, they're only good when they're, in my opinion, they're only good when they're hot and when they're iced. In between is just like eh, no, it kind of like it's a very rare thing when a straight up green tea is good uh, when it's still when it's still warm. Uh, this one, this one is maintaining, and it's mostly because of the strawberry. Sencha, depending on the quality, can hold up uh, from from different temperatures. Um, this one is definitely a good example of that. Mm. What do you mean, what? <laughs> Green teas are brewed at 145. Uh, that would depend. I, I usually do mine at 180. Um, I don't really, like, because it, it can with, with, uh, withstand the higher temperatures than 145. Um, like this one, for instance, they, they recommend you do it at 170, did I say? Uh, let me just double check. Uh, it's in the dark. There we go. 176. I did mine at 180, but they recommend it at 176, and, you know, I mean, it works. Um, white teas, I would say, you can do from 145 to, well, what was the, like, I usually do it as a green tea anyway, uh, but white teas, they usually recommend from, like, 145, 150 to, say, like, 170 something, uh... That would that's a good uh, white tea range. Uh, it's all to uh, it's all to taste, but I figured I'd tease a little sissy with saying uh, only hot. Yeah, well, I mean, I can agree with you that I, I mean, honestly, yes, it is to uh, it is to taste, but in this case, like I, I just I, I think that green tea loses something when it gets to uh, when it gets to be room temperature. Um, this one is, it's already room temperature, but I'm liking it just as much, and I kind of feel like I want to put it in the fridge, uh, and let it, let it chill for a bit and get really cold, and then try it again. Um, I'm not going to do that, of course, because this is, this is, uh, this is a stream, but if I were to make this as an iced tea, which I really think I should, this is definitely the kind of way to go. I would brew it hot and then cool it off, um, and I should do, I don't know, I should do another iced tea this season at some point, uh, you guys saw the last one I did, uh, it was an herbal blend, I think it was watermelon cooler, uh, I went through just the process, uh, I, I, maybe I'll do that again for you guys, I don't know, we'll see, uh, but it was definitely that was that was a marathon because uh, I did the entire hour. I I let it steep, hot, uh, for an hour. But only because that was a uh, it was a fruit blend, so like there was nothing too over steep. <gasps> oh excuse me. So I might just do that uh, again with like maybe a green tea, black tea, or white tea, something that's an actual uh, tea. Which can be slightly more complicated, um, but like a uh, an herbal blend is pretty much you set it and forget it. Uh, it can steep all day; you won't have any problems. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, open up the floor again. Questions, comments. Anything you want to throw at me, go right ahead. Oh, I'm just like digesting. It's just, it was so good, but I'm feeling like like it's starting to uh, to wear me out now. Uh, you can see my eyes are kind of glazing over because <laughs> I am in this really mellow place and uh, slightly slightly tea drunk. I do see, uh, I, I I do feel it a little bit. Um, but it's 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 a very good sensation overall. 
Uh, I'm going to definitely sleep very well tonight because this is like, this is feeling, making me feel incredible. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just the, it's just the tea talking. But like, it's, it's definitely activating some endorphins in me. I'm feeling happy and, you know what I mean, like there, there's very few things in life that does that other than tea. Uh... But this is doing a very good job of it. I'm really enjoying it. <clears throat> I think I have about two or three sips left. Ooh, so you're stuck with me a couple more minutes. <laughs> oh my god, okay. I'm still digesting. This is getting uh, a little bit difficult for me in the best of ways because like I'm feeling like I'm feeling like like it's starting to I'm starting to wear down. I'm feeling even though this is caffeinated, I'm feeling like 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 just really good, really really mellow. Like I, I feel aware that's what the caffeine is doing. It's not keeping me awake, it's just keeping me alert. And I think that it's starting to get a little bit hot in my room. Uh, so that's, like, I, I tend to, to slow down a bit. Uh, at the end of the day, in the heat, like, I, you know, I'm just going to turn my fan from, from low to medium. I'm usually just more concerned about the noise that it makes so I don't like having it on when uh, when I stream but in this case I think I might need the extra help because oh yeah that's a lot better now now I feel the cool it's starting to it's starting to uh, to perk me up just a little bit yeah that's exactly what I needed Whew. thank you fan you're my biggest fan that was awful Awful. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Oh, this is feeling good. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the question. Uh, I'm gonna open up the floor again. Questions, comments. Whew. Anything you want to talk about? <laughs> like I'm super stuffed right now. It's really, really hard for me to like. Oof. For me to concentrate because like half of me just wants to go right to sleep <laughs> and that's not a good thing because uh i still have a couple more cups of tea and then i have to like clean up after this and like this is the best kind of bad thing that can happen <laughs> during a tea stream um because you know it's like it's like i'm feeling really happy i'm feeling uh I, I'm feeling like alert and drunk, tea drunk, uh, and it's just like I don't know. Like when I'm like this, it's just it's like this is this is just a good time, you know. And I'm glad that you guys are here to share it with me because, you know, like generally, I never I never thought that I'd be able to pull off something like this and I've been doing this for about two years now and I never thought that it would get that it would last this long like I honestly thought mm, a couple months should be fine a couple months turned into a couple years and uh, I have now a community of a hundred and almost uh, was it, 141 members yeah I just happened to have it open right here uh, I use this uh, I use the Facebook page as a reference but, um, yeah, like 141 members, and it's like, it's just incredible. Uh, and it's continuing to grow every day, so I'm, in, I'm enjoying it for what it is. And I'm grateful to you guys for all you contribute. It means a lot to me. Mm. I think I have one more sip left in me. So, if you have any questions or comments... Or anything you want to throw at me now, <laughs> go ahead or forever hold your peace because I am like, I'm feeling good. Okay, 
So, last one down the hatch. Mm. Oof. Okay, great. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off for the night. Thank you guys so much for, uh, for joining me. It was an amazing experience. Once again, this is Gorgeous Geisha from T2. I will be posting the link at the, uh, after I sign off. So in case you are interested, just please keep in mind this is coming from uh, Australia and or... What was this? Uh, well, lots of things I could throw at you. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that. I, I'm sure I, uh, <laughs> I deserve having something thrown. Yes, I will see you guys next week. Uh, I will have another great blend for you. I don't know which one yet, but I've got like a backup. So <laughs> we will keep you... We, I will keep you guys posted on everything. Uh, so have a great night, wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye.